In today's modern society, healthcare must consider the whole individual in order to prevent and treat diseases and promote health. To meet these new demands, the Faculty of Health Sciences was established in Lynn Shepping with academic study programs for medicine, health, and social care. Here are programs for occupational therapists, speech and language pathologists, physicians, medical biologists, nurses, physiotherapists, sociologists, and even a master's degree in public health science. To meet students from, from other programs is something that I experience as very good. It's very good for your future profession. The Faculty of Health Sciences in Lynn Shipping cooperates with the Faculty of Arts and Sciences, known for its interdisciplinary study programs in areas such as children, communication, health and society. Projects run in conjunction with the Institute of Technology have led to the development of unique competences within signal and image handling, for example. And here are now the estimated motions. The Faculty of Health Sciences is not so much a locality as it is an activity, and it's one that is carried on throughout the county and even outside the county. The name Faculty of Health Sciences indicates the importance of the word health. Students receive an overall picture where care and rehabilitation are geared towards health based on the patient's condition and motivation. Within the Faculty of Health Sciences, demands are high when it comes to the natural sciences and behavioral sciences. Ethics and communication are also very important. I'm very proud to, to study here in Linköping and problem-based learning is something that I experience is very good. Students are educated and trained with a keen sense of awareness towards developing their patient relationship skills. By emphasizing cooperation among various study programs, teamwork skills are developed. Another important principle is the integration between research, the clinic, theory and practice. The so-called study module, STRAND, runs throughout the entire medical program. Here, contact with the patients is taught early on in order to develop an overall view of the patient with an evaluation of videotaped patient discussions. Students belonging in the various programs will study certain sections together and share practical sessions during the educational period. During their final year, Students from different programs work together as they train for their professions. This takes place in unique orthopedic training wards located in both North Shepping and Lynn Shepping. Student teams do everything from rounds, prescribing medication and other treatments to initiating patient rehabilitation. Since the training wards are orthopedic wards, there are important tasks for each of the student categories. Naturally, a doctor and nurse will always be on hand to supervise. The training ward has been a model for several other similar wards both in Sweden and abroad. The students are always taught to view their detailed insights in a greater context. At the Faculty of Health Sciences, studies are set up so that students work from actual case descriptions or problems. They study subjects which are integrated with each other, as they would be encountered in real professional life. The students are trained to weigh various tasks against each other and supplement necessary or lacking information themselves. This is part of problem-based learning, or PBL. The tutorial group forms the center of PBL. Here, training and study goals are set, and here is where cooperation with the other group members is done to ensure that correct skills have been attained. The tutor supports the students in this process. This not only leads to a deeper knowledge, 
but a thorough understanding of theory and practice. The base groups incorporate a modern computer support in PBL, known as EDIT, Educational Development Using Information Technology. EDIT presents PBL scenarios as web pages on the intranet. Text is augmented with video, sound and pictures to heighten the reality of the case. Actions taken by the students in handling the scenario and the questions that arise are saved and then mailed out to the group and their supervisor immediately after the base group meeting. At the Faculty of Health Sciences, examinations cover several subject areas simultaneously and are close to real-life situations. Importance is also placed on attitudes, approaches, and communication skills. The library at the Faculty of Health Sciences constitutes an important asset for problem-based learning. Here, students are offered outstanding possibilities to seek knowledge in literature, medical databases, the internet, and also through working with multimedia and watching videotapes. The library also serves the researchers within the faculty. Medical research at the Faculty of Health Sciences ranges from basic biological mechanisms within disease pathophysiology and treatment to behavioral science and social economics as they pertain to health and disease. Each category within all the professional fields carries out research here, such as pediatrics, occupational therapy, nursing, and physiotherapy. The Faculty of Health Sciences takes an active role in Linköping University's campaign towards education and research within life science technologies and biomedicine. Focus is on biotechnology, biomedicine, bioinformatics, and the science of molecular biology. Cancer research develops individually adapted treatments such as radiation therapy and immune therapy guided by the tumor's genetic and immunobiological qualities. CMIV, the Center for Medical Image Science and Visualization, conducts focused frontline research within multidisciplinary projects, providing solutions for tomorrow's clinical issues. The mission is to develop future methods and tools for image analysis and visualization for applications within healthcare and medical research. Future examples of research can be found in the areas of circulation, spanning theory, computer simulations and model tests, and even pure clinical research. Here, the origins and prevention of arteriosclerosis are researched, as well as the use of diagnostic methods, the metabolism of the heart, coronary artery disease in women, as well as new surgical techniques. Uh, the fact that we are meeting research early in our education also makes us learn how to critically evaluate it and use the results in our problem solving. <laughs> Through various international networks, the Faculty of Health Sciences maintains contacts and exchange programs with European countries and, for example, Japan and India. With support from CEDA, the Swedish International Development Cooperation Agency, the Faculty of Health Sciences also runs a cooperation project in Kenya for the establishing of medical research and education. The Faculty of Health Sciences is located in a region boasting long traditions and a high-tech industry. There are several large corporations in the region. Mjardivi Science Park in Linköping and ProNova in Norrköping are two of the world's fastest growing technology parks in the field of computing. Research here is beneficial to the medical care community, for example, such as the development of the digital X-ray. 
in independent national evaluations. The study programs at the Faculty of Health Sciences have received the highest marks. <laughs> Students are well prepared to meet the requirements placed on the medical and healthcare fields of the future. There are now a number of universities, both in Sweden and abroad, running programs pattern after the Faculty of Health Sciences. The teaching methods are characterized by problem-based and lifelong learning, critical appraisal of knowledge, a scientific point of view, and individual responsibility. The education has provided new and exciting tasks for the instructors and has led to a more motivated and competent body of alumni. They understand that continual development within modern medical and health care is fueled by the personal motivation and drive of today's students. Mm -hmm.